So when you and Megan have like a disagreement on a direction, what do you like flip a coin or do you take turns or what happens? <laughs> so that's a really interesting question. Um, it doesn't come up a lot. Okay. Uh, when it does, Megan has the de facto like yes or no. Oh, she does. Like like officially on paper. Officially on paper. Officially on paper. Uh, I mean, it's, I'm never gonna like challenge. Does she just, just, really does she, need does to be on paper? That, does she pull that Megan's, sword out? Does no. she pull that sword out and whip it around? No. No. It's not no. who she is. Uh, but like, if it comes down to like, hey, we need to make a decision. Like, she is the CEO. That's why it's her title. Uh, can, it has nothing to do with one? like anything else. It's mostly share like. Share a small one. Share a small little like, uh, share one, share one. That's a, we'll wrap it up with that. Share like a small little like, ah, I'll share. I'll share a disagreement and I'll also share why. So okay. the reason that Megan is given that position is because Megan is the uh, guardian of the brand. Okay. So Megan cares about the brand more than anybody else and understands the direction it should be going in. All right. And she's not going to get distracted by uh, the lady in the red dress. I see. So, like, uh, she'll like walking through the matrix, you see the lady in the red dress and you get distracted. Yeah. Um, that is what Megan doesn't do. She has the power to not do that, to say okay. like, I'm comfortable with this is our product. This is our stance. This is who we are. We're going to stay this way. So for instance, if I come to Megan with an opportunity, hey, like there's this really cool thing. We can make this wild product and make all this money. Megan's going to say, no, it's stupid. Like we're, we're sticking with this. Or I've come to her before and been like, maybe we should like use vegan chocolate chips. This was a recent example. Okay. I was like, I think we should use vegan chocolate chips. Like then we can throw the vegan label on our, all of our flavors and like buyers will like that. It's real and authentic. She's real like and authentic, man. Yeah. She's like, that's, that's your, I, we could put non-GMO. We could, we could pay the non-GMO society or whatever they're called to put the non-GMO label on all of our products right now. They're all non-GMO, but we won't because Megan thinks it's dumb. It's inauthentic and it's ridiculous. And why would you pay some like agency to do that? And I would have paid them. I would have paid them because I am more likely to fall trapped to the uh, non-contrarian way of thinking. Megan is a contrarian by nature. That makes her extremely good at being a CEO. That's and great. that is why she has the title I don't. Uh, but that's a good story.